Hey guys, welcome to Ryan's Times Thoughts. Hey, today I decided, if you didn't know, I'm in the missions. I work for a university and I, I'm always wondering, you know, it's college time, people from high school are looking for colleges. You have adults that are looking to change their lives, especially with COVID-19s going, maybe they're finding their dreams and love, all that. I mean, what is your thoughts of looking into colleges? I, I What is your pros and cons? I mean, I won't tell you what university I work for, but it kind of, I, I've been doing this over 20 years and I've run across this all the time. Uh, good ways people are looking for colleges and bad ways, and especially when you're calling a mission representative, like myself. I mean, what is the first thing I would do if I was looking at colleges? Ma'am, number one, why don't you go to their website and learn about them, read about them, Find out what they specialize in. Because every community college university specializes in something. So why don't you do do that? Because you want to make sure of the college and the investment you're doing, you're picking the right school for your craft, right? Because you don't do this the rest of your life. You don't spend two years, four years, um, you know, stress out. You might have a little tears because you didn't time manage yourself or your homework. You might... Um, um, have sleepless nights because you didn't finish that project in time. Um, but I promise you will have joy if you pick the right um, university or college for you. But that's the first step. And plus you're investing money and time. My God, why aren't you doing that? So I would go on their website right now and read their story, how they came about, what made them that university, what brought people to go to their university, what, what kind of uh, classmates you have and so forth, our teachers. I mean, wow, wouldn't that be great? Um, I work with a bunch of nerds. I mean, isn't that great working for a university that they're open, creative, and just love having a good time? But of course, we're probably sour at time as well. But yeah, tell the story. Find out their storyline, what made them. You know, that's the first thing. The second thing, how easy was it to navigate their website? Seriously, how easy it was it? I mean, if you can't navigate the website, can you imagine how hard is it to navigate the website to do the class assignments if you do online? Can you imagine how hard to navigate turning your homework if you can't figure out just looking for information? Or navigate the website and they don't give you a lot of information? Hmm, maybe you kind of wonder, don't you? I mean, that's, that's, I mean, that's what I would think about. Hey, that's a big thing, right? Find out their degrees, right? Find out what they um, what what degrees they do, because you don't want to go to a school that is a a gaming school and you want to learn about um, history. Maybe they don't have a history. They might not even have a specialize of being a teacher, and you're going to a school that specializes in animation or something. Do they have the qualifications you need to be a teacher? Or why would you go to a gaming school or animation? And you want to be a lawyer. You don't have to transfer and you're probably not taking the right classes. Just a thought. Um, so I would say that. Also, you know, some schools actually give you the degree breakdown if you look hard enough. That will show you every single class you're going to take the next two or four years. I mean, wouldn't that be awesome to find out every single class that you're going to be taking? And then you could compare it to other colleges. And if other colleges send you that, you can really understand what you're learning and see what's best school for you. Only made sense, right? But that's what I would do. No brainer, right? I mean, think about it. I always thought about that. I mean, those are the most common things, right? How to do that? The work, do the website, read about them, history, find out the teachers, what kind of teachers teach you, and so forth. What kind of resource center they have, and so forth, because you might need that if you're stressing out and stuff like that, right? Then, now you're ready for that phone call. Now you're ready to call a mission representative like myself and ask those pertinent questions that are, now you read about it, but how could they even tell you more about that program to make you feel comfortable going there? Made sense, right? Because I always tell people, man, you might be a gamer and I'm not a gamer, right? So I only know so much about gaming to help you, but I will be glad to get that resource for you but you know a lot about gaming. So when I ask those questions for you, I try to figure out what emphasis is best for you, right? That's my job. But it's your job to make sure that it's a good gaming program because you've been doing that all your life. Doesn't that make sense? 
That's what I think is, hey, look at that, right? Talk about that. Share that moment so they know what your career path, what you're looking for, the outcome when you're done with school. Because you want to figure, you don't want to figure out after you're done with school because you just wasted all that money and time and find out that might be the wrong school for you. God, that would suck. That would really suck. Uh, but you hear people do that all the time. And then I always say, man, what if they offer, do they offer you to talk about the program on the campus? Or if you're doing online, maybe do they do Zoom meeting? Woo, everybody does Zoom meeting now. Are they willing to do a Zoom meeting with you to go over what some of the things that you read and some of the things they know and you guys could collectively get all that right information to make sure that's the right school for you? And how could they do it? If they can't explain it or like you feel like you're disconnected just on that alone, maybe that's not my be a school for you. Only makes sense, right? I think Zoom meeting information tours are the best thing. I love doing that. I get to share information, but at the same time, I could be really honest saying, man, this school doesn't sound like it's a good fit for you. Or for us, maybe it's a you're not a good fit for us because how you react and how you like not answering the questions right or you're not even Engage. So why would we want you to come to our school? Because our reputation is online. Doesn't that kind of make sense? I mean, that's what I would think about. I mean, then I'd say as you look over the program, as you go over the resource together, man, wouldn't that be great that they go over what the classes my homework look like? Oh, that would be awesome. That would be awesome. And then also maybe they could break down the cost. I mean, I don't care about the cost if I was looking at school until I find out at number one, hey, what is the story about the school? Number two, what does the school specialize? Number three, I would break down, see every single class, homework, supplies, all that, see if that's a good fit. Because if all those three are no, who cares about the price because you're not going there, right? And then you can really compare what price is best for you if, if every school teaches the same and that plan, whoo, you have a lot more choices. And then are they willing to discuss the financial aid? The admissions team probably can't go in detail, but they could kind of tell you how the financial aid process works at their school. And wouldn't that be cool? Because I was kind of ingrid. I didn't know much when I was going to college. So that kind of helps, right? So you don't figure out by yourself and make a mistake. And then the second thing is, I always say the cost comes to play. Is online and on-site the same price? I don't know. That might be a great question to ask. Is the cost the same? Good question. How it's broken down? How is the supplies online? Is there lab feeds? And so forth. And hey, then if you came to the campus, do they have housing? How much is housing? Does it include financial aid? Do I have to take a private loan? Those are the key things you should be asking. It only made sense, right? Because it will make a better experience of you making it easy for your college search. Just a thought. I mean, just a thought. And plus, you're helping the admissions team to make sure you're a good fit. Making sure you guys work together. Because that's the biggest thing. Because sometimes that might be your lifeline of when you're stressed out that you build that confidence in talking to somebody that you have a great uh, conversation so you know somebody at the school. So remember, if you after you're done the work, when you're done with school, just relax. Pick a school. Keep your career plans going and be successful. This is Ryan's Times Thoughts. Enjoy.